try to revive this football program after having that two-year success of 17 wins, finishing five and seven the last two years, and he knows how big this game is today. Here we go. We're underway. It's going to be Matthew Thomas, the wide receiver, up to the 10 with a 15, and bounces forward to the 18-yard line. Third down and two now for the Gamecocks. Three wide outs. Pinkins has got to keep. Got to get the first down. Fighting for the stick. I do not think he got it. It's going to bring up the fourth down. That's Domingo Lyons, the guy we talked about, Bill Curry. Chauncey Dose of single wing offense there from New Holtz to open up the football game. And so Josh Brown back to pump the football. Brandon Brooks, who's only 5'4", says let it hit. Get away from it. Alabama may have made contact. I guess not. The ball is going to be dead at the 42. That was a dangerous situation for Alabama. And according to Mike Shula, he just needs to play. On the 42-yard line, Gillen with a play action. Going to throw it. He completes it to Keith Brown, the true freshman. And Brown gets to the 45. That'll be a first down, a 12-yard pickup on the play. Dillon will send his tight end, Johnston, in motion. On a delayed handoff to Hudson. Hudson makes the first down inside the 35-yard line. In motion now will come Castillo. Dillon back to throw. He's got time over the middle. Intercepted. It's picked up by Coe Simpson, the freshman. He's to the 40, to the 45. Still on his feet. He goes to the Alabama 48-yard line. That's the guy we were talking about. Well, he got called last time. Garrett Pinkins on the move on a third down, getting rid of a deep overthrows his intended receiver inside the 10. And that's the ever-dangerous Troy Williamson. So after the turnover, the Gamecocks not able to do much with it. Josh Brown, back to punt, hit a very high. Drifting over is going to be Brandon Brooks. He's going to let it hit, and they're going to down it inside the five-yard line. Beautifully done that time. Of course, his daddy, the All-America here at Alabama, they use him both with a tailback and a fullback. Third down and nine. And they're going to try to get some breathing room as they pound it forward. Ray Hudson, but that's going to be short of the first down. It'll bring up a fourth down. So Bell Newton, the sophomore, comes in as they start the two-quarterback rotation. He gives to Summers. Summers to the 50 in the open field. It's a foot race to the 30. The 25 and knocked down at the 20-yard line. And you can see why they think Summers can be a huge difference in this football game. Third down in the yard. And this time, Summers is going to be thrown for a loss. Beautiful play by Waldron. Joe Kines, defensive coordinator for Alabama, said Waldron. Well, he's a midget, but he just makes plays. I call put to snap the ball. Josh Brown, who this year is four of six at a career-long 40-yarder against Troy, and his kick is up, and South Carolina has taken a three-to-nothing lead. So Mike Shula's team down by a field goal. We'll start from the 30-yard line. Gillen back to throw. He's got good protection. Going deep. Keith Brown. He's there. Can't get to him. Just overthrown at the 25-yard line. That was a beautiful throw, and Brown did not keep his deep speed. He's had a couple Somebody's of balls that should have been cut out. here tonight. That's right. Here is Gillen back to throw, and a short hitch. He completes it. He gets it over to Castile. He's the kind of reliable player that's going to have to assist Mark Gillen. He really needs his guys to step up for him. And so it's going to bring up now third down, still three. They have three wideouts on the set. They move the tight end, Clint Johnston. Gillen on the play action. Over the middle of the screen, complete to Hudson, and it's going to be close. Did he get the first down? There is a flag on the play. It's going to be Kyle Tatum holding number 58, the right tackle on Marcus Lawrence. We understand that Pinkins had an equipment issue. He's not hurt. There's a bad snap to Gillen. He's going to have to fall on a, on a third down and 13. They don't even get a shot at it. So they're going to have to punt the football away. Yeah, and you're telling us, Alex, it was as neat as a pin, which is hard for me to believe. Back to throw now is Newton going deep. The ball at the five and broken up. That was a near miss to Williamson. And there's a flag. Well, they did it. But I'll, here's That's the call. Pass interference against the defense. Number 17. And he's going to go straight up the middle. 
Newton gets inside the 25 to about the 23. It's going to be fourth down. Newton on the pitch to Boyd, and that may be a first down saving tackle. Great reaction that time by Roman Harper, who came over and cut the legs out from under him. So Alabama takes over. They'll have the ball inside their own 25 and in and around reverse given to Brown. Brown trying to get wide. He's got the corner. 35, 40. You see the speed of this true freshman out of Florida. Four wideouts on this play for Gillen. Gillen stepping up, takes a shot, and the ball knocked out at the 50. Five DBs now for the tide on a third down and five. Newton is back. Scramble, trying to get the first down running. Now dumps it to the near side, up and into the Alabama bench. Bill, I have a question. Was that your PR guy or your agent that fit that in there for you? <laughs> Here's Hudson. Hudson, very close to the first down as he goes across the 40 to the 41 now. So it's going to be second and a yard to go for the Tide after that nine-yard first. This time, the gift goes to Castile. He bursts out of there. He's to the 40, to the 30, the 25, and down at the 20-yard line. Trying to capitalize on this 39-yard run earlier by Castile. It's Hudson with the ball. Hudson not going to get the first down. This is a 29-yard field goal attempt. Brian Bostic, who was four of four. He's made all 22 kicks. Field goals and PATs. Out of the hole of Alec Fox. The kick is on the way, and we have a tie game. Third down now and nine after the timeout. Pinkins releases with a bullet to Matthew Thomas, and that gets him out of a big hole. Bob Knight was there at the same time. This friend of mine, Dick LeBeau, who's now defensive coordinator for the Steelers at Ohio State. I think Bobby Knight's a lot more scary, though. Here's a pass complete to the fullback, and that is Corey Boyd, and Boyd gets some running room. And he's got a first down. Dead ball, personal foul. Against the defense. They've been luring him into the neutral zone from the shotgun. You know, Bryant could also dunk a basketball. Here's a handoff straight ahead, and they've got a first down. From the shotgun, Pinkett setting up a screen. Boyd almost made a one-handed catch. That would have been a remarkable catch by Corey Boyd out of Orange, New Jersey. He's made a 29-yarder. Josh Brown as this is a 28-yarder for the lead. Out of the hold of Joey Bowers. The kick is up, and Carolina has the lead for the second time. Mike Shula, 9-2-1 with that team, and he led the country in passing efficiency for most of the season. So Alabama will start for the 20. Gillen rolls out, and he hits his tight end. That's Clint Johnston. Johnston, a big, rugged guy who's played hurt so much, now healthy. First down, now to 33. 3.52 left in this first half. Gillen on a delayed handoff. It's Darby. Darby to the 40 and shut down at the 41-yard line. You can see the leading rushers in the SEC. Well, this conference does have a few running backs, don't they? Oh, about, I think better this year than ever. And here's Darby on a second and two, and that's a first down and then some. He crosses the midfield stripe. And Williams now with the Buffalo Bills. He signed as a free agent. Here's Gillen back, setting up deep drop, near side, wide open. The catch is made. Open field move this time by Hudson. And Hudson's got a first down. The steal again goes in motion. Gillen gives on Hudson, trying to go wide. He's to the 30, the 25, he's to the 20, and fights his way down to the 16 yard line. First down. The steal again goes in motion. Gillen gives on Hudson, trying to go wide. He's to the 30. The 25, he's to the 20, and fights his way down to the 16-yard line. First down. Mark Gillen on the play action. Looking into the corner. Ball is there. Keith Brown can't hang on. He was out of bounds maybe anyway, and Brown shaking up. Austin earlier able to kick the 29-yarder out of the hole of Alec Fox. That was very good. Here's the boot on the way, and the kick is no good. You called it, Bill. 
It's just tough. The good news is that he is conscious. His mother was by his side. He yelled out, Mama. She told him, Keith, I'm here, baby. I love you. Um, as he was being taken out of uh, the stands here, uh, the crowd went crazy. He held up his finger and kind of waved it, held up that uh, index finger saying number one. Gary. You know, that is significant. That yeah, is very is. significant. Well, that, is, that just makes you, you know, just so encouraged to see him motion like that as he was wheeled off the field. So Carolina is still with a three-point lead as we come to the waning seconds of this first half, and they wedge it out to the 21-yard line. So it hasn't been an offensive explosion here. No, two really hard-nosed defenses and a KGO football coach having his way. So we're going to go to the ESPN College Game Day half trend report. 6-3, Carolina. Here's Matt Weiner. Um, Shula said that he told his team during the half, hey, all we can do is hope and pray. We've got to go out now, and somebody's got to step up and fill in for Keith. All right, Alex, very well done. On a third and three, they're very close to the first down. Noah Whiteside will go back to sophomore out of Greenville, South Carolina. Freeland with the punt. Doesn't turn over, and it's not a good punt. It goes sideways, and I'll tell you, South Carolina is going to get the ball at the 43-yard line. That's a great way to start your second half. <laughs> Third down and four. Here's Pickens. He's going to keep it, and uh, I don't know if he got the first down. He needed to get to the 47-yard line. Let's see where they give him his forward progress. That was Roman Harper on the stop. Passes he's been catching. Here is now Newton giving up and first to the outside. Nice change of direction that time, and uh, that'll be Boyd picking up 10 yards on the play, and looks like another first down. Pretty good drive right now. Second and six. The pitch from Newton. Off it comes to Summers, and Summers is shut down. Boy, that play was really slow developing. Back to throw. So Bell Newton, and he has an intercepted. It's picked off by Madison. Anthony Madison, and he comes up with it to the 22-yard line. Madison with his second interception of the season. He tried to throw a bullet, and Madison instead interceded from the 22 first down. Here's Gillen now trying to capitalize. He's got Broco sprinting out, throws up the field. He throws it right back to the other guy, and here they come. This is going to be Fred Bennett, the number eight, to the other side of the field. And all of a sudden, they give it back, and they have it at the 20-yard line. And then Bennett came back and picked one up for South Carolina. Here is Newton trying to get wide. He's got the corner, and he'll go out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Tracked down on the near side by Charlie Pepper at the eight-yard line. Here is Newton. Snap directly back. Newton in. Touchdown, South Carolina. coming in for Gillen. Gillen really struggling. A handoff to Hudson. Hudson out to the 35 and dropped there. Well, the Astros who lead the Rockies in the wild card race. So Pennington comes in at quarterback. Hands off again and the two handoffs he gets two first downs. Pennington a junior out of Fayette, Alabama. First down on two carries. Pennington with his first pass. Throws the near side. is picked up. Intercepted. And here they go it's going to be Tremaine Taylor, and he's going to take it to the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the 8, and another interception. So Tyler able to return that one at the 9, first and goal. Tyler, they call him too tough, and he made too tough a play there. And up the middle goes Newton, and he has scored his second touchdown here of the second half. That's another 8-yard run. Third down and three, and I don't need to tell you the tide needs somehow to convert on this third down. Johnston, the tight end, goes in motion. Pennington to throw, not well thrown, poorly thrown, in fact. Tight end Hudson, and this is a very, very unsettled crowd right now. Bo Freeland to punt. He came in second in the SEC. Noah Whiteside is back. Hit it very high. Whiteside drifting over. Calls for the fair catch. And we're going to have interference. Made contact as the ball arrived at the 20-yard line. Look at this, a trips formation for Lou Holtz on a third and three to the near side. And then they just have the quarterback. 
Try to take it up the middle so hey. they spread everybody out. When Lou lines up in trips, has to get three tackles away from the <laughs> running game now without having to block them. So the 67-year-old mentor in his sixth year in South Carolina right now in the driver's seat. And here comes the punt to Brandon Brooks. He fumbled it. The ball is loose at the 15, but Alabama gets it back. Wow. How about SMU? They broke, what, a 15-game losing streak, and now they think they can win some games. Oh, yeah. They get dangerous. <laughs> they pull off that one. Wow. Four wideouts now. Pennington in a lot of hurt. Ball fumbled. I think Alabama got it. Falling back on the ball very alertly that time was Ray Hudson. Alabama had only 21 yards in offense. They just kept throwing the ball to the guys in the wrong jersey. Here's Demetrius Summers, and he skips to the 35-yard line, and boy, very quickly was able to pick up, it looks like another first down. That's Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne Crump would, would eat a rib in a heartbeat. All right, well, you should talk. Third down and four now. Here is Newton on the keeper. He's got to get the first down and then some to the 20-yard line. Now, I am very upset because I did get some the other night, but I came up in the booth tonight expecting to get to eat some more. Mm -hmm. You guys have taken all of them. Second down now. Eight yards to go for South Carolina. Fumble by Summers. The ball is loose, and I think Alabama's got it. Todd Bates came up with it, so that gives the tight hope. It's going to bring up third down and still six yards to go after picking up four on the play. Here he is from the shotgun, being flushed out again, resetting, throwing to the near side, and he threw it to the wrong guys again. This is Bennett with his second interception of the night. i tell you what, that Boise State team, Dan Hawkins, just does a great job coaching that team. He just reloads. Here now is Boyd, and uh, Boyd spinning forward, picking up pretty good yardage. Newton's going to pitch to him, and Gray is going to get the first down. So they'll be inside the 15. They got to be 24 to 9 in that game as they went 12 and 0 that year and beat the Razorbacks and Blue Holtz. And here's a handoff, and they just keep pounding away. This is Gonzi Gray. And Newton has done a nice job engineering all this. Very conservative. He gets off Gonzi Gray, and the ball comes out. It's picked up, and running the other way is Rudy Griffin. Griffin, who was a former player at the Citadel. What a big play for him, and that is a return of 23 yards on that play. Oh, listen, do you think David isn't excited? He just saw that return by UCLA. <laughs> Hold on to him. Here's a handoff to Castile on a third down, and they're not going to get it, and they're now 0 for 11 on third down. Double tight ends. Pennington wants to throw, and he threw that ball people in the area there was really nobody open he tried to hit Clint Johnston the tight end and so South Carolina will take over the football it's been a long night for the time well I have to go back to my scouting report from my old buddy Alex Hawkins captain who from the Baltimore Colts he told me after the Vanderbilt game that South Carolina had a terrific offensive line so the uh, clock now down to two minutes it's gonna be third down and three and they're just uh, keep hammering away this time it's Corey Boyd right up the middle there's Dave Raider who was a head coach at Tulsa for some time and I still think that Gillen has some some confidence and, and some talent level to finish off the SEC season. Look at this South Carolina here, Bill, going for yeah, it. This is the right down. call. It's the right call to go for it, even if they hadn't made it. You look back on the Georgia game, they led that game 16 to nothing. This team could easily be undefeated going into next week. Yeah. Kurt McCallie in charge of the stats. Ken Trevor, our stage manager. Kim Anderson, our spotter. Josh Hopman, our producer, and John McDonough, our director. Thanks, guys. It's a very surprising end to this. As now, uh, let's go to Alex with Coach Blue Holtz. What's the biggest thing you learned about your team tonight? We'll, we'll, we'll compete. We won't make mistakes, but we'll compete. They're a wonderful group, and God's blessed us. All right, Coach. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Well, very, very successful. I feel bad for this guy, Brody Coyle, who, of course, could not play. But uh, Lou Holtz, very very, very interesting win. 20 to 3 the final. South Carolina 20, Alabama 3 coming up next on ESPN2. Ohio State versus Northwestern.